Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple system for uncheating and cheating your weapon in Unreal. This video was suggested also by RS God, so thanks a lot for the suggestion. So we are obviously going to need an animation for this. So I have two animations right here. One is for cheating and one is for uncheating. So first I'm going to go into my player character and we are going to select the mesh. And then under the skeletal mesh, we are going to double click it to open it. And first we are going to need to add a socket where we are going to attach our weapon. So we have all these bones here and you're going to want to find the one that's closest to where you want to store your weapon. So for me, I'm going to store it at my hip on my side. So for me, spine one is going to work just fine, but you can obviously store it wherever you want. You can store it on your hip, on your back or on your head if you feel like it. So once you find your bone, you can just right click it, add socket. Then I'm going to press F2 and I rename it to weapon hip. Then I'm going to right click the socket, add preview asset and I'm going to search for sword. And this is going to add a preview mesh, so you want some kind of mesh that you can preview this with, ideally some kind of weapon. And then we are going to move the socket in such a way that it actually looks like it's attached to the hip. Okay, that looks about good enough for this. And like I said, you can attach it to wherever you want, so you can save your skeletal mesh. Then we are going to go back into our player character, go into the event graph. We are going to create a custom event. And the first one is gonna be called Unsheet Weapon. And then we are gonna create a second custom event. And this one is gonna be called Sheet Weapon. Then what we are gonna do is we are gonna get the weapon. This is the weapon where we are storing our child actor. So we are gonna drag it in and we are gonna drag from it and search for Attach Components to Component. And then we can just plug it into one of those events. Then what we are gonna also need is we are gonna get our mesh and then we are gonna plug it into the parent. And then we are gonna get these three nodes and duplicate them, plug it into the other event. And then we need to fill in our socket names. So for sheeting weapon, what we are gonna do is we are gonna want to attach it to our hip. So for me, that's weapon hip. And then for unsheeting weapon, we want to attach it back into our hand. So for me, that's weapon R. So once you have that, what we are gonna do is we are gonna go into the viewport, we are gonna get this weapon and we are gonna change it where it's attached. So if I select it, I'm gonna search for the hip. And I'm gonna attach it there and we can compile and save this. Then we are gonna need to create our animation montages. So I'm gonna go into the content browser, right click the animation, create any montage, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one. So what we need to do with these animation montages is we are gonna need to add an anim notify. So we are gonna right click, add notify and then we'll notify. This is gonna be called sheet weapon. Then what we are gonna need to do is we need to find a point in the animation where the sword is gonna be mostly in the place. So about right here is fine. So we are gonna move that anim notify there. We can save this and then we are gonna go and open the other animation montage. We are gonna pause this, right click again, add notify, new notify. And since this is uncheating, this one is gonna be called uncheat weapon. We are gonna find a point in our animation where our character is grabbing the weapon and already has it in their hand. And then we are gonna move our notify there. Save this again. Then we can go back into our player blueprint and we are gonna need to go into our animation blueprint. So select your mesh and under anim class, we can browse to asset and open the animation blueprint there. In the event graph, we want to get our notify. So unsheet weapon and sheet weapon. Once you have these two notifies, all we need to do is we need to cast it to our player character. So for me, that's third person. Then drag out from object and search for get player character. Then drag out from the third person and search for the relevant event. So this one is going to be sheet. And then we can just duplicate these two nodes, move them down here and then plug it in and search for unsheet weapon. Then we can just compile and save this. And then the last thing we need to do is we need to go into our player blueprint and go into the event graph. Then we need some kind of keybind. So I'm gonna just press Z and search for keyboard event. Then from keyboard event drag out and search for flip flop. Then we are gonna search for play and montage. And then we are gonna just duplicate this and plug it into both A and B. And then we just need to slot in our animation montages. So, so in the first one, I want the unsheet animation montage and in the other one is gonna be the sheet. Because when we pick up a weapon, it's gonna be by default sheeted. So the first animation we are gonna want to play is the one where we unsheet it. So we can compile and save this and then we can go try it out. And as you can see, when we press the keybind, we can unsheet and sheet the weapon. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, share, all that. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.